This school year this time did not come only among the students, but it is among all those who grow and flourish in the mountain. The old maple, coughing, twisted his mustache, glanced at the forest, ordered the chestnut. Dear lady, bring the book with the name and surname of which seedlings will be sent to school this year. With a bow, she opened the door of the room where she keeps all the old books. After finding the book, he handed it a wrap. He he we have many students this year and it started to count. Pine, hazel, chestnut, birch, only these from the upper Mahala and those from the lower Mahala. Oak, beech, fir, we will have a lot this year. A great satisfaction was seen on his face. He closed the book and lay down a little to relax in the soft blanket that rustles and waves in the wind. The next day, the school hummed with the sounds of the trees. Adults enjoyed them. But to their satisfaction, the axe often threw the fabric of despair in their faces. Dushku the Strong, who is known as the best thinker, saddened by this great cruelty, made a written protest against those who are following him the most. The wise maple gave it the grade it deserved. His letter received information. They say that even the snake welcomed the attitude. Then the angry school children, together with the teacher, swore that in the future we will all return to good health. Their draft that day was, Forest loves are condemned.